I'm looking today at Psalm 39, and I'm going to just read some of that psalm uh, as we start. It says, um, for the director of music for Jedithan, a psalm of David, I said, I will watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin. I will put a muzzle on my mouth as long as the wicked are in my presence. But when I was silent and still, not even saying anything good, my anguish increased. My heart grew hot within me. And as I meditated, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. You've made my days a mere hand breath. The span of the years is as nothing before you. Each man's life is but a breath. So the psalmist is talking about this whole thing that he wanted to keep quiet. He didn't want to say anything. He was going to be embarrassed if people criticised him and, and uh, he said something out of turn. But the reality is, is that he starts to feel like, I've got to just say it. This is the reality. We don't live in a permanent world. We don't live in a world where everything just carries on quite nicely and conveniently and we can't give any thought about eternity. We've got to face the fact of the frailty of the human experience. I've got to face the fact of my days are just going to evaporate and that's not just being kind of fatalistic and negative and hopeless. It's just coming to a reality that everything that looks very permanent, everything that feels totally solid here, is not the eternal. We're not dealing with the eternal uh, in the sense of the things we see have got eternity in them. We, you know, stuff will pass away, stuff will, um, will, will just go, it will vanish. It will, all the stuff that we collect, all the stuff that we earn, all the stuff that we acquire and accumulate, it's not permanent. And I think he's trying to get to the point that he he realises this has got to come out, that the reality of this truth has got to come out. He can't just pretend that life just carries on uh, without any reference to God being involved, without any reference to eternity, without any perspective of the long term, the very long term, which is what happens when I die? What happens in my eternity? Am I prepared for it? Am I getting ready for it? Am I just like the, the guy in the parable that Jesus talks about who's storing up for himself and gets to the end, you know, he's got a bigger barn perhaps, he's got everything kind of, you know, resourced for him and he's kind of patting himself on the back and saying, you know, I'm ready, I'm good for a few years, I'm, I'm, I'm really, you know, I've got all my, my ducks in a row and everything's uh, just fine for me and hunky-dory. But that's not the reality. Uh, in the parable uh, that Jesus talks about, um, God says, you know, your life's going to be required of you. Any moment, all this can fall apart. Any moment, uh, this can just come to an end. And so the psalmist wants us to be reminded again that this isn't a permanent world. We don't live in a permanent world. We must face life in the light of eternity. We must deal with life in the light of eternity. So I pray today that we would get that perspective again. If we've lost it in any way, uh, maybe we've, we've had that perspective when we've lost it, then we would rediscover it. And if we've never found it, if we've never kind of thought about life like that, that today, even today, that God would speak to our hearts and come into that situation wherever you are right now and, and remind you that, you need to uh, get things on the right footing with God, get things in the right place with God. May God speak to our hearts today. And if you haven't encountered Jesus before, if you've never really met him, if you don't know what that means to be living life in the light of eternity and facing the fact that this is just a, you know, a short-term residence uh, in terms of being on earth, if that's never kind of been something that you've been thinking through then I, I just invite you to make contact with me through make a comment and and stuff and uh, connect up um, uh, on my on my little spiel on the uh, the little notes that go on 
each video there's a there's a contact uh, as well on there so please make contact with me and um, let me know you know that you've thought about that and that's something that you're exploring and interesting in and I, I feel like maybe for someone who might watch this this is an important moment for you to reconsider life in the light of eternity and allow and ask God to come in and uh, bring you to a real relationship with Jesus. So I pray uh, that you would encounter him today in a very special way.